Hi guys, it's Megan again, coming to you with a super quick project share. Um, I recently started a new job. We've been in training these past, oh lord, two weeks and two days. Um, so not quite two and a half weeks yet. I will be managing um, a few ladies. And so I have four ladies in total. So I wanted to share you guys with you guys the gifts that I made for them, and then also I'm going to share a birthday card that I made for a friend. So um, let's get started. This is actually a box um, that you can purchase the template for um, if you have a cameo. I'm sure SVG Cuts has one too, um, so definitely look for that. It's super cute, and um, I just took and cut the label out. It comes with the label and I just stamped um, just for you on it. And these are actually the Candies Brads, Candy C-A-N-D-I Brads, and they're not really Brads. They're like little foam circles and I don't know how well you guys can see but they've got like, it's, it's like a pop dot underneath of them. Um, so, and I just filled them with some candy for the ladies. Um, because we all know that we need our chocolate. <laughs> and so I have four ladies. Whoops. So two ladies are getting this kind of box, and two ladies are getting this kind, and they're actually from the same paper from Graphic 45. Um, you know, it's just one side and the other side. So I thought those were super cute. I hope they like them. Um, that's not all I'm giving them, but that's the main, like, the main thing. Okay, and so I just made this um, cute birthday card today for my friend's birthday tomorrow. And I'm just going to do, there you go, so you can see it without much of a glare. There's a little bit of a glare. Okay, so I went to my local consignment shop, the one that I actually have stuff in, and she had this stamp, which I've been wanting for forever. And it was brand new. I just used it with, um, with the stays on, of course, for this. So that's why it's a little bit stained. But it was brand new. She had it for $2, you guys. Um, I believe that this is Stampin' Up, but it just says JRL Design on the side. I'm not sure who that is. Um, but love it. Love this stamp. So I was watching oh, Vicki, who is Vicki PGR, I think, on YouTube. I'm going to put her link down below to the video. She did a, um, a card similar to this and it actually inspired me to do this. So what I did first was I stamped the, um, the jar onto some cellophane, some clear, clear sheet. And um, you have to stamp it with stays on, of course, um, because if you stamp it with anything else, it's not going to dry and it's just going to smudge. The, um, the back ground of the card is just a plain white A2 size card. The brown layer is from My Mind's Eye. Um, I can't remember the, um, I'll put that, you know, a little pop up right now to tell you what. And then this is just another sheet of white. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a Impression Obsession is a stamp company that um, makes their stamps and they had some clearance stuff and I thought that these stamps would go really cute and it's just a pair of butterflies as you can see and they're, they're lifelike butterflies and then the sentiment and of course you guys won't be able to read it right now but you'll read it in the card so I just took a piece of white and I took some Ranger ink um, Hold on, let me get it down for you. I really am horribly unprepared for this. Sepia. Sepia Tone Ranger Ink. And stamped the butterfly pears all over the back. And then I stamped them again on a different um, sheet of paper in pink, which is my Muse Studio pink. Um, cut those out and pop them up. And then for the jar, of course, you can't really put any kind of glue or anything behind it because it's going to show very easily. So, um, Vicki had wrapped the top with some twine, similar to what I've done, and put pop dots behind it. You can see the pop dots there. And then um, 
she put a little flag exactly like I did. So, I, I mean, I scrap lifted the crap out of that thing. It, it was a cute car. <laughs> um, and so there's pop dots behind that as well to kind of hold the, um, the jar in place. And there's, oh, there's pop dots behind the butterflies as well. So this is the first half of the sentiment stamp. I just inked up half of it, and it says it takes a long time. And then it says to grow an old friend. Isn't that cute? Because, you know, butterflies have to, you know, first so caterpillars, and then they grow into butterflies. So I thought it was just super cute. The stamps actually did not come together. I actually saw them on the website separately and thought that that would be a perfect set. So that's why I had to grab those real quick. Um, and then on the inside, I've just brought back more of the My Mind's Eye paper. This piece right here that I have border punched is actually the back side of this. So I thought that that kind of brought in a great, great little contrast. And of course, as always, my little tramp stamp is on the back. And then um, I just made an envelope and stamped more of the butterflies on it. I know Cat, um, the cat's me I was throwing up right now because she hates butterflies. <laughs> but anyway, that's my quick little project share. Uh, thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I'll have all of the links down below that I mentioned. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.